Share this latest Flux restoration model with his style reference model. Generate product background image replacement. Just upload a product picture. Then use the prompt word to automatically pick out the product. Use another background image for him to extract his style reference. Finally reach. This product perfectly replaces the background. And the shadows are basically perfect. I will explain how to use this workflow in detail later. I am currently using the online mirror at Duana Quad. So you can see that I can use it now. Everyone can use it and update to the latest version. This way, there is no need for local deployment or anything like that. Just click on it and it's ready to use. And it contains all my workflows. Divided into three categories. Image, video, and voice. The image contains all the latest Flux models and some practical workflows. I'm all about practicality here. There are also some video generation and editing. background style reference. There are also voice generated music sound cloning and sound editor. Background removal, ETC. This is ready to use. Don't worry about deployment. If you want to deploy locally, then you just open my notes, click on Configure Tutorial. It will jump to this workflow location. These three categories correspond one-to-one -one with my online mirror. Click on the image category. Product replacement background. The first one is that there are important nodes installed. And manual download. Some installation methods. There are also workflow screenshots and workflow downloads. This is suitable for people who deploy locally. Because I have too many nodes installed by Mary, e, so I keep them here. If you don't know what node function to use, check it out here. For example, if you want to use color migration, you click on this node, find him and your node. There is this tool node available. Just search for this node in the image. There are also high definition restoration and anyway, so on. What function do you need? As long as I have the mirror installed, you will be here. Because I can't remember. Sometimes you need to use some function. But forgot the search name of his node. You can check it here. Then come back to this one. Mainly divided into three parts. The first part is the default flux. Flux default workflow, this alignment. Large spacing. So it is divided into two parts. There is nothing good to say about this. Just use the latest flux to repair the model. There are two parts below. This part is the background reference plus the reverse image prompt word. This way, you don't have to write prompts. The one in the middle is a model loading for style reference. Center the mess. This is all here. Upload this product image. Then redefine the size. This middle part is Reverse push prompt to or, extract his mask. I'm very clear about the alignment. In the middle of this piece, the spacing is relatively small. The blocks are relatively open. Just another piece. This makes it convenient for everyone to and use. And they are divided into up, down, you will understand. Right. Come in from here and go left. From top to bottom and then to the left. This is a very orderly arrangement. The middle part is extracted using the prompt word, the mask. Finally, through this reverse mask, blur this edge. This way there won't be any white edges. Otherwise, your cutoff will have white edges. So use this to solve his edge problem. Let him shrink a little. That's it. This way it is perfect and achieves this product. 
An operation to replace the background of the product. If you are not satisfied with the generated image, you can regenerate it or replace with it with the, the background word. image. I just use it to push back. If you want to add more, you can add it here or something. Generally, don't do it manually if you can. Okay, everyone can go play. This way you can keep generating until you are satisfied. There will be no white edge or message. This is the effect. To indent a little bit. 